Good afternoon from Cappadocia. So we arrived yesterday and we didn't do much because we were just so tired. And yeah, we had a early night. It was late when we got here as well because it took just over an hour to get from the airport to our accommodation. So we just had a nice rest. And then we had another rest there this morning because our hot air balloon was meant to be for tomorrow as well. And it's canceled. And then it was meant to be for the day after as well, wasn't it? And it's canceled again. So hopefully by Friday, we're gonna be able to do it because it says the wind is too strong. But looking around, isn't it? It doesn't, it's cold, but it doesn't feel yeah. windy. Yeah. So we're gonna explore a bit around. There's like a viewpoint up here that we're gonna see from the city. And yeah, took my drone out for a while as well. And yeah, some amazing shots in it. We can't wait to show you. So we're gonna walk up because, to show you, it's so muddy here. I had to change into her boots. She was wearing the white runners. So yeah. We'll show you around a few videos on our way to the hike. So it is 10 lira each, so Agatha is paying now. No, we don't have it. So that's just a sign there, as we said, 10 lira each. And move, move. And bring small change with you because we just gave them a hundred and yeah 50. it's very hard to get change here so we gave 50 wasn't it now i gave 50 i had 200 it doesn't have change so try and change somewhere because it'll just be easier for yourself thank you thank you so we're not sure how long it takes i don't think it takes this long because we can see the top and the guy said it was getting late as well so i think that's why he advised us to go on this one and yeah it's it's cold, isn't it? Yeah, very cold. <laughs> it's like very cold. It's like minus two, minus three now. And then as the night goes on, it gets like minus 10. So it's new for me and it's definitely new for Act, isn't it? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, we're going to keep going now and I'll show you around. this viewpoint and it literally took maybe less than five minutes to come up here but the views are amazing you can see like the whole town of Cappadocia then the red mountain as well it's just over here I'll show you now in a minute and yeah all the hotels are around and then you've got like different parts over here like you can like sit down and get like the viewpoint behind and then the name of it here is Gormia Hatchas, I think it is. I'm not gonna pronounce that, but we'll put that down below just to make sure. But yeah, it's amazing here. It's like the snow on the mountains, and then you got the majority of these places are actually uh, accommodations. So it's really cool. Really glad we came up here. So just behind me there is the Turkey flag, and then if you come down here, where Agatha's walking. We know it's like there's two people over here in the distance and there's really nice views around. Jeez, I nearly fell there. It's okay. <laughs> there's like very bad eyes now. I wasn't watching where I was going. But yeah, it's starting to get very busy there now for the sunset, even though it's about an hour away. So we're gonna make our way, as I said, just along here. Be careful because there's a bit of a drop. And then we're gonna see the Red Valley over here. And then we're gonna see the views of Cappadocia as well.
viewpoint and we were really hungry, we had no dinner yet. So we went into this place and it's called Burger Wine House. So Agatha is getting a burger and for once in my life I'm gonna try some Turkish food. So I'm getting uh, meatballs, but it's like a Turkish way done with rice and chips. So it's gonna be interesting. And yeah, the view we have from here is beautiful. It's all the way around. We've got some blues music over there as well. So we're just waiting for our food now, and then when it comes out, we'll show you. So I got meat, it's like peppers and onions. It's like stew back in Ireland, it's a common dish. And then I got burger, chips, cool. And yeah, it's pretty reasonable price here. We were just checking, I think Agatha's burger came to about four euro, four ninety five. And then this one also, I think it's just a bit more expensive, but it's really good for the price. Guys, we got this dessert. It's a famous one here. It's called baklava. It's got some pistachio, some ice cream, and nuts, and then like a pastry on top. So he said, if we don't like it, we can return it. So let's see what it's like. Mm. You like it? Just get a bit more, you know. Different. I wasn't sure what we saw first, but it's actually alright. You like it? Yeah, it is nice. Good morning, guys, or should we say good evening? It's, I think it's three o'clock here now. I myself and Agatha have very bad jet lag. And yeah, we're finding it very hard to get out of bed. It's just- Yeah, because we're going to sleep late as well. It wasn't too bad because we were in South America for the last while, so time zones were different. But now we're in Turkey and yeah, it's a bit hectic. But anyways, we're in the downtown now of Cappadocia. Uh, it's our first time down here. And yeah, there's like a lot more shops here. There's more restaurants and we saw a place there that was quite cheap for food as well. Yeah. A lot of Western food as well. A lot of burgers and stuff you get back home. And then obviously these as well that I need to get. So I'm finding all different prices on postcards. So I'm sending a postcard every time we stop in the country back home. And this um, one was... This is five. shop is five lira and other shops so ah. five lira. Five lira. That's the cheapest. So we're fine. This is the cheapest one. The last one was 10. And the other one was 30. And the last one then was Not 30. 20. 20. So we are making our way now. The weather's a bit shit today. It's um, very snowy, isn't it? Yeah. So hopefully we're going to make it to it and come back and we don't get lost. So I'll just show you around Cappadocia downtown. far away now and we just noticed the caves in the distance and as far as we know we saw on YouTube that people actually go into them you can look around so that is our plan to go into it and yeah we'll just show you around it's just covered in snow everything and it's still freezing really cold it's nice to see this kind of snow and then I'm not sure if you'll see them but just in the distance there's like big massive holes in the caves so our plan is as i said to go into them so we have finally made to the caves and yeah they're spectacular so unusual it's like they're just built into a side of a rock and this one now is like a really cool one so i'll just show you so that's it there our plan is to go into it that is the plan as long as there's no one in there 
and then these are all the cool rocks as well around the place. So we're just inside one of the caves now and I'm not sure kind of, I could have thought that there were four people that built them to hide away. I'm not sure from armies or something or the government. But like these ones here, they look like kind of grave sites. And then we've got like these like Roman things about as well, or it's probably Turkish. It's very unusual. So we're not sure like what they're actually for. We need to check out for ourselves. But it's so, so cool, but I'm gonna see can we go in here? It's very dark, but it's like an old church. It's dark. So it looks like an old church. So it's like a church built inside a cave. And then I'm not sure if that was like a graveyard. Really cool structure though. So we're just heading down now to the Red Valley. There was like signposts just back there. They were just kind of all on the walls and the stones. And yeah, it's beautiful around here. It's so quiet. Just as we left the last place there, there was like maybe seven, eight Jeeps and then a lot of horses, a lot of tour groups. So we're just lucky that we got our photographs and I got some cool drone footage as well. And yeah, just show you what we're seeing. It's so unusual. Just the design of the rocks as well. It's crazy. Just covered in snow, just so quiet as well. I could try and do a snow and angel. <laughs> now she's just sliding off. <laughs> oh, God, love you. So we have arrived in Red Valley and it is pretty amazing. It's just the sculpture, the rocks and even the caves. We've been in a few as well and they're class. It's just the way they had them like sculptured out a rock, which is pretty impressive. They've got like an entrance and then we don't know exactly how to get to the top ones. We're thinking like there's like a entrance just somewhere up here and then like they come down because you can't really see but just there where the holes are, there's like windows and stuff. So clearly like they've made entrances up here. And yeah, it's just all the different designs in the rocks. And then you've got like the snow in the backdrop. It's pretty cool. 
So we have to head back now because it is starting to get a bit dark. Yeah. And we don't want to yeah, we yeah. don't want to be lost in the Red Valley either. We don't at all. <laughs> <laughs> Around half six, and we are getting our hot air balloon. So we just stopped off for some breakfast now, and yeah, we'll show you what we got. So we just got some pastries, some fruit, some Nutella, and some hot chocolate. And you got the same, I didn't you? Yeah, really the same, just waffles and hot chocolate. So yeah, it's quite a selection. You get like a free breakfast before you leave. And then we're flying with Royal Balloon. So as you can see, just over here, you've got different selection of foods and vegetables and fruit. So we are leaving at seven o'clock. So we're gonna have this now and warm up and get some food in our bellies. Guys, so we're finally here. And as you can see, there's so many blues. There's just a few leaving now. Leaving in a few minutes, and yeah, it's so cool. This is our little cabin. It's like two people, the two. It's really good. in the winter time hot balloons and then in the summer time there is 150 so it's just the weather so yeah it's so cool though I'm just gonna show you
we just finished. That was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. It was one so of the best cool. Ever. Very cold, but it was one Very of the best cold. things, as I said, one of the best things we've ever done. So cool. <laughs> and now we are having some Prosecco. Just over here. That's probably like the earliest I've had a drink anyways. Yeah. This time of the morning. Well, it's so early. Cool. It's really cool. <laughs> Celebrating for safe landing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One, two, three. <laughs> 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 Like the champagne, right? Yeah. All yeah. of them? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Woo. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Take a photograph of well you. <laughs> so guys, we got our medals. Yeah. Oh. oh, God, boy. Too cold. And yeah, really good experience. Yeah. Really recommend them. We got their carriage here as well. And we're going to put that down, the link is down below. And yeah, it was like one hour, just over an hour. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Now it's time to go home and get some Turkish tea into us. <laughs> So guys, we're just going to show you the accommodation that we've been staying in Cappadocia for the last couple of nights. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's a cave. Not actually a proper cave, but it's just the way they've, they've done and they've made it out to look like a cave. So I'm just going to show it to you now. So it's a very spacious big room, got like cool designs. And this was our room, big double bed, then it's got like cool lights here, very cool designs. And then this is our storage and into our bathroom very spacious bathroom with a shower your sink your toilet and yeah really nice place um is there anything else and you just got like a place like a small fridge and then like place for your tea it's really hard to see because as i said it is a cave but yeah super cool place So our checkout time was at 11 o'clock this morning and the time is four o'clock. So we spent our day kind of walking around trying to find things to do. Went for food a few times as well. And then we were sitting in the small reception area in our hotel. We were getting a bit bored and then the woman came using the Hoover. So we thought maybe we should leave or they were trying to tell us to leave. So we decided to come up to the balcony here got like these little hammocks and finally actually the sun is pretty strong as well so it's pretty warm around the views are still amazing and then it's mass time <laughs> and it's mass time here as well as you can hear hang oh. on <laughs> good then it stops oh <laughs> yeah so we're gonna chill here. We've left some half for three hours left until the shuttle bus comes and collect us. And then we're heading back to Istanbul. So I'm just gonna show you around the top of the accommodation we've been staying in. The weather is actually a lot better now. So I can finally show you. So here we go. So this is like the first level. I think in the summertime it's gonna be busier. There's like tables here. So I'm sure you probably have like your dinner and breakfast. Wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of like bar or something up here as well. <clears throat> and you've got like the backdrop of the mountain. And then just up there, that's where we done the small hike. It's a viewpoint. 
you can see the Turkish flag somewhere. Hang on. Just here. Ah. Just in between the two rocks. So I think that was like 10 lira each to do. It was pretty cool to do. <coughs> then you come down here. It's like two levels. And the views are really good from all angles. So it's kind of near the same. Just got tables here. More tables. And then this is the accommodation that we're staying in. And then R1, you're not gonna see it, but just where the table was down there. Yeah, they're really cool. It's something that we haven't stayed in before. So it's gonna be definitely a memory to have. <coughs> and guys, sadly, that's the end to Cappadocia. We're heading to Istanbul again. We're heading back this evening and we're heading off tomorrow so yeah we're wish we could have stayed a bit longer here in turkey it's an amazing country sad with everything going on at the minute but hopefully we can come back someday soon again so guys we hope you liked this video give us a like and comment and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you soon